Welcome to my eating rice channel, where we eat rice. Hey guys! Bye, Bye. guys! <laughs> What are you Let me start over. Cut. <laughs> Wait, no. Action. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Our first video. Are you Hey strangers. I'm here with still a 1D fan. And I'm here with that squirrel from Hoodwink who drank too much coffee. You're right. <laughs> wow. Okay. I had a uh, minor identity crisis. <laughs> that was completely unscripted, so genuine reactions. <laughs> Just like that one scene in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Facts. Uh -huh. When they went through the tunnel, yeah. mm -hmm. um, Gene Wilder, the legend, the man, the myth, the legend, um, he was the only one who knew what was going on, and it was completely unscripted. All of their reactions and stuff were totally genuine, and if my source is incorrect, don't sue me. I'm just the messenger. Welcome to our video. If you want more Charlie and the Chocolate Factory facts, Charlotte in the Charlotte <laughs> Fac <Three>. Factory. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. We'll give you all That's of Charlie all of, and the Chocolate Factory content. Man. Yeah, all of all of the oh, Charlie yes. and the Chocolate Factory stuff you could ever want, and maybe just maybe we'll branch out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But like niche content is yeah. our thing. Mm -hmm. That's our niche. So for real though, my name's Aaron. This is Ashley. I don't get to introduce myself. No, you don't. Really? You're you're here for visuals only. Don't oh. talk. Okay. We get it one more time. I'm Aaron. This is Ashley. There will be a future test on this. So, so you better be taking notes. Take notes. Memorize that now. Really easy. Yeah, we might be future college dropouts, but you're not. Stay in school, kids. So, yeah. Please That's stay. a really good message to get from our yeah. channel. Don't don't I feel like parents are going to be angry now that they think about it. Our Why target are you watching future college dropouts. <laughs> Our target audience is not your parents. It's not. Sorry, parents. No, 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 don't leave. Stay. Go come back. <laughs> parents. Wait, no. <laughs> just like just like my parents did to me when I was 3. Mine did it to me when I was still in the womb. My mom left. Oh, you always have to one up me. Your mother <laughs> left you. Yeah. So yeah, remember that we won't be repeating it ever again. You will not ever again hear our names. I'm Ashley, this is Erin. You've made a hypocrite of me. So today we're introducing ourselves with a stupid little game that Erin created and she thought was cute. It was so cute. So I'm just playing along. Have you all ever been to school? Me too, hated it. You know, you walk into the classroom, you're like, man, maybe this won't be as bad as it always is. And the teacher hits you with that Let's introduce ourselves! But they somehow leave themselves out of it. Like a gym teacher saying, <laughs> Oh, a mile's not that far. I'm yeah. sure it's not that far if you don't have to run it. Yeah. Uh, disclaimer, I don't hate all teachers, okay? That's Jake Paul's job. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do, but it'll be actually fun and not ridden with social anxiety. Maybe. I mean, she's here. Yeah, my entire life is social anxiety. Ashley and I, meaning I, have Ooh. compiled a list of okay, questions. Okay. How dare you out me like this? Do you not just randomly write? That's our intro. Right? First question. But. First question. What animal do you hate the most? I know this is kind of controversial, but let's keep it between us. I can see your board, man. Don't just don't look at it, dude. It's, it's hard it. not to. It's like. Have you already thought of yours? Yeah. Oh, I don't really sure. hate animals. Yours just says my name on it. Nope. Stop trying to guess mine. Just I'm not trying to guess out. yours. I'm trying to guess mine. Um. Okay. okay. Ready? Three, two, one. I knew you were gonna say something dumb. I said <gasps> porcupines. porcupines. But they're so cute and spiky. Emphasis on spiky. <laughs> <laughs> they're like the emo hedgehogs. Yeah, but like violent emo hedgehogs. This is the part where we rationalize our decisions. As a child, I was terrified of porcupines because I didn't like needles and I didn't like walking needles with their own <laughs> brains. Who would? Besides, 
Ashley, apparently. They're cute. They're like hedgehogs, but like a little sharper. You act like there's four cubines like walking around outside. I don't think I have to rationalize why I hate humans. Like, it's kind of obvious. They're annoying. You homophobe. I hate gays and straights and everyone equally. <laughs> I'm gonna man. cut that just at gays. <laughs> oh, no. I hate gays. Right, next question. Question number two. Jeez, that's such a lame question. Why did I write these? What's your favorite color and why? How do people actually write on these things? What's the marker? Really, because I was writing my own blood the whole time. You could have told me. I like your passion, but you know, it's a little too intense. What are you drawing? It's just one word. <laughs> what? Okay, are we showing them? Why'd you erase? Are we showing them? Well, you said it's only one word, and so now mine's only one word. I'm gonna guess that yours is blue because you picked the blue marker board. Okay. And I had no no say in that. I feel like I want to say yours is green, but then I'm also getting the feeling that it's orange. Hmm. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. What color is yours? I can't read. Black. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You evil <laughs> bastard child. Look at me. You're Look so at me. emo. I'm in all black. Yeah, but I'm... Did you put blue... Huh? Nerd. Nerd. The emo and the nerd. Dude, that could be a good love story. Fuck you Me too. Cute. Let's write a book. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. Worst travel experience. What question is this, Erin? Question number three. Worst travel experience. And why? I'm good at this right. game, man. I'm like popping out these answers. And you're over here like staring off into space as if it's like a sad movie or something. I'm... Attention deficit. You came up with these. Yeah, but I was also like, I was like 13%. I was at 13%. Bring an answer down. Nobody cares about your 13%. <laughs> when did I travel? Did when did I? When did I travel? I feel like anything that I do is gonna be like a brag. I was gonna be like the one time the waitress actually thought I was French and started speaking fluently to me. <laughs> <laughs> she actually believed it. <laughs> we went to France and then a b made me walk down the Eiffel Tower before I got all the way up. <laughs> Jerk, but like she is. I'm gonna bleep her name. <laughs> Stop saying it. That's a lot of bleeping. Forty years later. Speaking of French. <laughs> I feel like you're just thinking too hard about this. I am. I definitely am. For sure. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. To Penn State. I knew you were gonna do something sarcastic. No wonder it took you two <laughs> seconds to think of it. You're making fun of me. I haven't been anywhere. Okay, okay. You went to Florida. I've been to Florida, but yeah, Penn State. Yikes. Worse than the cockroach. Oh my gosh, I would. Literally, I would deal with like five hissing flying cockroaches. That's perfect because we've brought five hissing flying cockroaches on set today for you to play with. But you did it! We did. Meet Jeremy, Roger, Michael, I ran out of names, and Cassandra. <laughs> oh, they're Visco girls. Ew. Question Are you even gonna ask about mine? Oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> French hotel, okay. Oh, you can read. I know, it's a lot longer than the other kids, but I finally did it. For sure and 17 years late. French hotel. Jump cut to the end of this. <laughs> and just, so, and then it just like cuts out. <laughs> and that's okay. why it was bad. That's why it was terrible and you're like asleep. All I'm gonna talk about is the bathroom. The door doesn't lock, which would be honestly fine if you know the no. shower it would be fine if the shower wasn't in the open. There was no shower curtain, no door, and the floor was this much lower than the rest of the floor, and the drain went really slow. So if you if you had the water on for five minutes straight, it'd start overflowing into the rest of the bathroom. Wow. So you would turn the water on, like rinse your hair a little bit, turn it off, wait for it to drain, turn it back on, shampoo your hair, turn it off. Oh, gross. Like wait a while while it like spills over the sides. It took forever, and there was 
<laughs> My brain shut down. So Pick one. Open wide shower or no door locks. Don't do both. Because if somebody opens the door, you're standing right in front of the entrance, fully naked, facing them. They also gave us the wrong hotel room twice. Our key didn't work. The staff opened it up. And there was somebody's stuff in there. It was currently being used, our hotel room. That seems sketchy. Question number four. Favorite classic Disney movie? Three, two, and one. Why do you like Peter Pan? It's because you don't want to be an adult. I like Pe Yes, exactly. I was really scared as a little kid, so like I'd have to have my hallway light on so like light would shine into my room. And I had a bunk bed and I was on the top. So I put my feet like to my ceiling and it would cast a shadow onto the ceiling and it would look like the shadow of Peter. And so I'd pretend like he took me off to Neverland and I didn't have to grow up. Ask me about myself. Why do you like the Lion King? What kind of a question is that? So first of all, the animation's really pretty. Second, the story seemed really great until I realized that they just ripped off of Shakespeare. I still have dreams someday that um, Lion Pan will come down and whisk me off to the plains of Africa where I'll live forever until my uncle kills me. Sounds like the dream life. Actually, I'm changing my mind. Poison straight into the no air. Pan. Oh, Lion King That's the sound is. of my uncle pouring poison in my ear. The was your ear slurping it up? Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, my, poison. My Slurp. ear, my ear wants it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question number five. <laughs> Weirdest irrational fear. Spooky. Month. So this can't be something that could actually hurt you. Like it can't be spiders or drowning, or any of my other fear. <laughs> oh my god. Two. <laughs> One. Clowns. Shower curtain people. <laughs> hey, wait, clowns aren't irrational. They could hurt you. Do you remember that one time when that one thing was happening to some people? Oh, you mean the clowns were like attacking people? That's were, exactly like, what around. I just said. Is it me? You're running my name. Aaron's face. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, John Wayne Gacy, man. He's no joke, dude. When I was younger, I got this present. This little clown, it had sequins on it, it was on a little swing, and when I got it, I was like, I appreciate the gift, but I don't really want this. I thought they just got rid of it. No, they decided to attach it to my ceiling fan while I was in the shower. So I came out of the shower, towel wrapped around me, I was walking down the hallway into my room, and the clown was just slowly going back and forth on the fan. I screamed. I almost fell. I was butt naked under this towel. <laughs> and they thought it was so funny when they heard my scream ring throughout the house. You just like uncovered like a repressed memory of mine. <laughs> when I was younger, I read a lot of creepypasta. I was afraid that I was going to look out my window and see like Slender Man staring back at me. Haha, <laughs> because he doesn't have eyes. <laughs> so it's staring. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah shower curtain people. We talked about this earlier today. She asked me, whenever you walk uh, into the bathroom as a kid, would you always like check behind the shower curtain to make sure there was no one there? And I was like, ah, what a stupid question. As a kid, I just did that when I used your bathroom three minutes ago. <laughs> I still do that every time I walk into a bathroom, but like, why wouldn't you? Like the one time that I don't check behind the shower curtain to make sure there's nobody there is the time that somebody is there. You never know when there'll be somebody in your shower Who's not showering. Yeah, who so you don't want to be there. At the I same thought. time as the bathroom in the bathroom as you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number six. Woo! Favorite feature about yourself? I put this one in so the entire channel wouldn't just be self-deprecation. Don't, this is not sarcastic. Erase that. Erase <laughs> whatever not, you just wrote. It's not sarcastic. Erase it. It's not sarcasm, I promise. I'm holding you on that. You're so slow. Now I feel narcissistic. <laughs> yeah, you were like, oh my god, I know my favorite feature right away. Wait, how to choose one? <laughs> hmm. Easy, I'll write down all of them. You just, everything. <laughs> my You're everything. everything. Yeah. I love my everything. What do I actually like about myself? It was meant to make you think. <laughs> I don't do that. I like the size of my nostrils. I think they're an appropriate size. I don't know, they're a little big.
My nostrils didn't appreciate that. Um, why are you writing more? You just keep thinking of more positive qualities about yourself. I don't know, I'm writing the alphabet in, um, <laughs> cursive. My massive six pack. My absolutely ripped bod. You are the one that said this is not sarcastic. I <laughs> did it. <laughs> My psychopathic laugh. <laughs> Your rapper laughs far superior. Hey, are you the date today? Cause you're 10 out of 10. Or as the date actually is read, you're the 10th of October. Wow. Subscribe. 10th, 10th day of Halloween. <laughs> It's like the negative fifth no wait, the negative forty fifth day of Christmas. Okay. One, two, three. You did the countdown backwards. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy. Curls. Oh my god, I thought you hated them. Curls are annoying. I hate them. I have knots in it. That's not fun. No. But when I am on my phone or something and I'm being antisocial, I can use it as like a shield around myself to like stop people from seeing what I'm doing. That's it? And I like that. Yeah, that's the reason why, dude. Okay. I like my eyes because they're not the worst eyes out there. They can see, man. They do their job. Yeah, my eyes do see most of the time and they're not dreadful to look at. Thank you for listening. All right. Do you erase that with your hands? I think I might have. Like a barbarian. <laughs> favorite thing about me, or for you, favorite thing about me. I like how your markers get stuck in your hair all the time. I think that's so quirky. Wait, so we're doing about each other? Yeah. Nothing, oh, lol. God. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, okay, be I nice to me, please. This. No, I'm nervous. I feel like I'm gonna do something really dumb. Like, I like the shape of your ankle bone. I'm gonna be like, really specific and poetic. <laughs> I mean, less That's specific. Less specific than ankle bones. Um, yeah. She's wisely. Aaron. Ugly this could be the, face. This could be the end of our acquaintance. I like, I like your appearance because it's so bad it makes me look good. Almost. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three. Two. One. What is it? I put your height. What? <laughs> She put my freckles gross. Because I knew you hated it about you, and I wanted to point out that it's not terrible. It's cute. Aww, freckles wow. are thank you. Yeah, freckles They're are awful. such a nice thing. It annoys me when people put freckles on their face. It does. And draw them on because one, they don't do it right. No, they make circles. Perfect little circles. You use your compass to make little circles, and then you use a ruler to get them evenly spaced out. Like, have you guys ever seen real freckles in real life? For real, like real freckles. That's not it. Oh. Look at this. Freckles. <laughs> it looks so stupid. I like your height because it makes me feel short. I thought you were going to say because you can kidding. reach things that I can't. I'm kidding. Because, like, literally everybody is, like, two feet tall now. And I can't, I can't converse with those people. I feel like they're two. Thank you for um, complimenting my height. I was always really insecure about that as a child. And we'll get into my deep-seated emotional trauma in a later video. So subscribe. Turn on the bell for notifications and you'll find out real soon why I hated myself as a child. And, and why we still hate ourselves now. Question number eight, I do believe. Favorite article of clothing. He just worked on Crocs. You're scaring me. Why are you writing so fast? Because I'm very passionate about these things. Hoodies. <laughs> Okay, you had, you had one again. and two. You had one and two. Oh, I know the other one, but I'm not going to say it. What is it? What is it? Tell it. I'm not going to say it. Say it. Leggings. Oh, those are nice. Leggings. Shut up! <laughs> you told me to guess! Guess like three for me, and then those would be the ones I can't do. Shorts. Yep. Hoodies. Yeah. Oversized t-shirts. I don't wear anything else. <laughs> socks. <laughs> Black socks. <laughs> um. Um. Stop copying me. Oh, my little fox socks. Oh, these are beaver socks. I lied. I lied. Dude, I know animals. Go to like a zoology class, dude. You're so uneducated. You still have to take gen eds, like animal 101. Three, two, one. 
I put my Spider-Man onesie. That's so specific. I put cool jacket. No, no, no. Hear me out. Um, it doesn't matter where what you're what you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. No. Cool jackets. So like, I feel like jackets are a very underrated part of the essential wardrobe. What's your dream job? Question number nine? Question number nine? You can't write dead. I didn't. Ready? Three, two, one. YouTuber! <laughs> I'm ditching you first chance I get. Famous musician. Okay, yeah, so As I was gonna write YouTuber, but I felt like that be, might be kind of needy. I'm uh, joking, I'm joking. Subscribe. Yeah, like, if we both write YouTubers, just... Guys, this is our dream. Please, you can't, you can't ruin our dream like this. Do you see our name? Please make that true. That's Help us in our goal of dropping out of college forever. I oh, I thought we were still in the jackets thing, and I was like, how long can you talk about jackets? <laughs> that would be the later I put that clip in the video, the funnier it'll be. <laughs> um, ever since I was a kid. I've always kind of wanted to be like in the music industry because I just really liked music. I had all of those like all those kids bop soundtrack. Wait, you. fun fact. Um, when I was a kid, I thought that when you put like a CD into a radio player, every time you put it in and started the song over, the actual people who wrote the song and like played it would just be in a studio somewhere and they'd just start playing again. So if you like rewind it, you go, they go like, <laughs> but I'm done. And then like, I thought every time like you replayed it, it would. They would like play it again for you and sing it again like originally each time and then if you like skip the song they'd all like hustle out of the studio and the next people would come in they'd be like all right <laughs> and like um i'm still not entirely convinced to this day that that's not how it works i have no proof to tell you otherwise to tell me otherwise those were the words i was looking for thank you somebody comment below if that's not how radios work if nobody comments then we're led to believe you know that's exactly just how it is comment <laughs> So I thought like every time that I hit play, they were doing like a special little concert just for me. Oh, that's cute. It is cute, yeah. I was really devastated when I found out they weren't. Um, well, hey, nobody commented yet, so you never know. <laughs> yeah, you wait. Never know. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> that won't work soon, I hope, maybe. Prove me wrong. Sometimes I would just listen to the same song on repeat and be like, I, I can't hear any errors. They are really good. <laughs> Like, they haven't messed wow. up once. That's pretty good. I was impressed. Mm -hmm. A little bit less now that I know the truth. Um, anyways, yeah, I want to be a famous musician. One of the kinds that sits trapped in a cell all day, and then whenever you press play, they come out and, like, play their song and then go back to waiting. Ever since I was a kid, you know, I would, like, write little really dumb songs that were just so literal. It wasn't even... It sounded like a parody. Like, I would, if I wrote a song about cats, there was no deeper meaning. It was literally about cats. Why I, did you leave me, Mr. Fluffertons? You're Please assuming that I would ever name my cat that? Yeah, I am. Okay, no, but back then, you know, they were the world to me. And I still kind of want to do that, but hopefully I'm a little bit better now. Okay, we're She's in this gonna together. Ditch you too, man. We're in this together, She's okay? She's going to you too. Don't, don't trust her. You shouldn't trust her. That's Hi. my little story about being a starving artist, and I'm still hungry and not that good at art. So, help. Like this video. Please. Like this video to feed a starving artist. Me. Yes. That sums up our little introductory questions and answers thing. If you guys want to submit your answers to the questions or your feedback on our very, very intelligent responses to these very intelligent questions, feel free to comment below and we will try to get back to every single person because we love and support mm -hmm. every one of you. And we know you guys are going to be swarming the comments. So. Yeah, absolutely. Prove us wrong. Yeah. Wait, no. no prove us right. <laughs> this time you can prove us right. Assuming you've survived this long, thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned for the next edition of Exposing Our Low IQs. <laughs> if you're feeling brave, like I said, go on, leave your opinions to our questions in the comments. And we'll respond to as many as possible. Mm -hmm. And lastly, most important of all, don't be a stranger. Bye! Bye!
I like fur coats. Where are the scissors? Get out of my house. <laughs> Look at this boy. He's so precious. Oh my god, he's so soft. He make a really nice jacket. No, okay. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The later I put that clip in the video, the funnier it'll be. <laughs> like, like at the end, it's like, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Are you still talking about jackets? Our target audience is not your parents. Hopefully I'm a little bit better now. I mean, when I write a song about cats, there's like some... It's still about cats. Yeah, I just write about cats. Um... I feel like that would be... I feel like if a French person heard that, either their ears would oh, like tea. bleed and they'd die or they'd be very offended. MDR. What? Nice. Somebody has to turn off the camera. You do it. I don't know how. Subscribe.